Hello and uh, welcome to Commando on the uh, Commodore 64. I thought I'd reviewed this, but uh, it turns out I haven't, so I uh, thought I'd give it a go. And uh, just uh, playing the uh, cassette version here just for nostalgia reasons. Uh. Just speed up the loading here, but I always used to like listen to the uh, loading music. Presumably by uh, Mark Cooksey. Uh, I think he did most of the late games, but the in-game music for, for this game is actually done by Rob Hubbard, and uh, one of his more famous tunes, uh, well, probably uh, alongside uh, uh, Monty on the Run and uh, Thing of Spring, these are probably the his earlier tunes that put him on the map, really, uh, uh, really made a name for himself. Uh. So, sort of... Uh, Sort of slightly jazzed up version of the uh, coin up uh, tune. And uh, well, this is a, well, a Chris Butler game, so uh, I mean, I'm quite a big fan of Chris Butler, uh, most of his games, uh, uh, maybe even all of his games. I uh, can't really think of any I don't really rate. Uh, but uh, so here we go. So this is a conversion from the uh, Capcom coin up, uh, and uh, well, initially it looks really good, uh, and, uh, and it looks like a it looks like a pretty decent stab at converting the coin up. Uh, but uh, uh, apparently, uh, what happened was, uh, uh, while it was making good v progress on the on the game, then uh, they didn't have any music, and then of course the uh, Hired Rob Hubbard to do the music, uh, and he came down, uh, came down from Newcastle, and, uh, uh, and I think one night, uh, basically, just uh, <laughs> managed to write this music, uh, and uh, he left it running on all the computers. Uh, and as great as music is, uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, Chris Butler, to, to make room for it, he had to uh, take out <laughs> uh, half the levels in the game, and. Uh, and also, there's a bit of flicker, as you can see, uh, and, uh, just caused by the, mu the uh, addition of the music routine. But uh, there wasn't really time to uh, to fix all these problems before they, uh, you know, getting out for the, the uh, deadline. So uh, the game is slightly flawed from that, that point of view. Uh, the fact is that it has flicker and slowdown, which I quite I, I quite actually like the flicker and slowdown. Uh, uh, feels like the game is really just pushing things. Uh, to the maximum, but uh, I don't mind it too much. But uh, unfortunately, uh, I also meant that half the levels are, are not here, and so the game only has three levels. And uh, well, it's a bit easier to to complete the game. I mean, I'm on, I'm at the end of the second level already. Uh, so it doesn't. Uh, I mean, a bit of practice here, but, but it, it comes a point where it's not about completing the game because you know you're going to complete it, but it, it's uh, it's quite hard to talk and uh, play here. It's a matter of how many times you can loop the game, but uh, but the game's also uh, it's a bit generous with uh, dishing out extra life, so uh, in theory you can make games last um, well, forever, really. Uh, I can't believe I've not actually uh oops a flicker slow down there. And that guy's just uh just give up in the end. Yeah, I think that end of second level is probably the hardest bit of the game, uh, So this is the third and final level. And I think one of the other flaws in the game is that you, uh, you've got to, instead of like the Spectrum version, uh, in this version you've got, in, that, in the Spectrum version you can hold down fire to launch a grenade, but in this one you've got to hit the space bar. Which is okay uh, if you're sitting next to the computer, but uh, 
mean, back in the day we used to use uh, our foot on the spacebar. I mean, you know, the action's great. I mean, it's really, uh, it is really fast and furious. Uh, you know, it's action packed. But uh, I've basically completed the game in, in about five minutes. Uh, you know, it does is loop round now. Uh, I think uh, I think I looped it around maybe 14 times back in the day. I think uh, I can't remember whether I just gave up or not. But uh, see, I've got that's another extra life. I may as well just lose all my lives. But yeah, th th so that's commando for you. Um, it's what here is what what's here is good. Uh, there's no doubt about that. You know, uh, uh, it's a bit flickery. It doesn't it doesn't annoy me too much. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, it's just a bit short. Uh, the music's great. Uh, you know, it's one of Hubbard's best-known tunes, I think. I think the spot effects are good as well. Uh, now, uh, not too long ago, um, uh, the, uh, the Nostalgia uh, Cracking Group uh, released a, a version called Commando uh, Arcade uh, Edition or Arcade Version, uh, which is uh, we basically took this version and uh, reworked it so that uh, it had all the levels and uh, they fixed all the flicker and slowdown problems uh, and uh, added that so you could, you could hold in fire to launch a grenade so it's quite quite a it's a more of a complete version uh, but it's also a multi-load uh, but it's quite a fast multi-load but uh, that, that was only sort of downside to it but uh, other than that it's, it's quite a good version and, and obviously uh, if you want more of a challenge uh, or more of a complete experience, uh, that's definitely the version to play. Uh, you can easily track it down on the uh, on the net. Uh, well worth playing. But uh, I tried to review this version because this this was the version we all played back in the day. Um, so yep, um, <sighs> it's hard to rate it. I'll give it I'll give it uh, I'll give it six out of ten. Uh, and that sounds like it's not really a good game, but as I say, it's just a bit short, uh, unfortunately. Uh, and uh, you know, uh, otherwise it's it's pretty good. But uh, yeah, six out of ten. See you in the next video.